Hello everybody, today I'm at the Detroit Auto Show taking a look at this 2024 Chevy Silverado 1500 ZR2 Bison Edition. This is outfitted with uh, AEV uh, front and rear bumpers as well as some other AEV goodies. Starting off up front we have your full LED headlight and fog light kit. Beautiful gloss black honeycomb style grill with air flow through red accent Chevy bow tie absolutely beautiful blue color I hope it's coming through for you guys on camera uh, we have indicators right here to indicate that the vehicle does sit a little bit wider than normal your ZR2 badge is going to be on the driver's side you have actual um, spots to put your foot if you need to get into the engine right there on top of the bumper beautiful metal powder coated bumper with recovery points built right in Parking sensors are going to be integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. This guy does have a front facing camera because it has a 360 degree camera system. Up top on the hood you have the gloss black and blue two tone with your 6.2 liter V8 badge right there. This guy also has a 10 speed automatic transmission. Looks like we have some slightly oversized fender flares. Coming down to the wheel and tire setup it looks like we have a Goodyear Wrangler Territory All-Terrain and that looks like it's a 275-70R18 and this is an AEV gloss black wheel. Minimal splash guards behind the front wheels. Your ZR2 badging is going to be right up here. Gloss black mirror caps and your mirror mounted camera is going to be right there. Blind spot monitoring. I really like that General Motors gives you a thicker coat of paint down here on the rocker. And because this is a ZR2, the thicker coat of paint actually comes all the way up about eight inches on the door to protect against rock chips and then eventually corrosion. Gloss black door handles with passive entry. So as long as you have the key fob on you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the driver or passenger side door. Coming back here, we have your capless fuel fill port. Massive DSSV Multimatic shocks tucked away your bison badge is going to be right here on the bedside like i said increased departure angles with this bumper as well it is fully metal the uh, parking sensors integrated into the middle portion of the bumper and you also have dual tow recovery hooks on both driver and passenger side silverado and aev are going to be blacked out your four pin connector is going to be right here trailer backup camera there inside trailer camera right here trailer hitch is going to be right there as well this does have the multi pro tailgate i'll go over that a little bit more in detail when we take a look at the bed backup camera is going to be right here led puddle lamp for connecting a trailer in low light conditions is going to be right there led tail lamps with incandescent reverse bulb that brings us up to the Third brake light, the cargo light, cargo camera, as well as your rear view mirror camera, which I will go over a little bit more in detail in a minute. We have the wing, which is designed to shoot air over the bed. So if you don't have a tonneau cover, you'll still have a little bit more efficiency versus not having one at all without the wing. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful looking truck. Super aggressive as well. Let's take a closer look at the interior. So starting off over on the driver's side, I wanna point out the awesome color combo they have in here. It's this nice gray with this lime or like high-vis yellow stitching throughout. You have this carbon fiber looking material and this kind of textured honeycomb looking material above that. Your lock and unlock buttons are gonna be right here. Two seat memory. Window controls are here. Mirror controls are right there. This guy does have the Bose Premium Audio Group. Electronic parking brake right here. Push button transfer case, auto, four high, two high, four low. Drive mode for the vehicle, including your uh, trailer tow mode. Rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle, as well as the fog light button and your cargo lamp button. And then the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. This guy has a heads up display. It is displayed right here. Heads up display will control how high or how low it sits on the windshield. What info you're displaying and then how bright or how dim the heads-up display actually is. Coming up to the dashboard, again, really nice gray and yellow accent 
trim throughout. There is a nice storage tray behind the touchscreen display. Coming to the instrument cluster, it is fully digital. I absolutely love that. I love that the automotive industry is moving in that direction. Coming back to the steering wheel, very nice soft leather wrapped steering wheel, no bolsters at 10 and 2. However, you are going to get some pedal shifters on this guy, which is pretty sweet. Over on the left side of the steering wheel, we have all the cruise control buttons as well as your gap adjustment button and then your heated steering wheel button itself. Over on the right side, we have your uh, steering wheel mounted call controls and then we have the control pad for the center LCD display. Massive, massive touchscreen display. It does have wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. You can control the climate through here. You have a pre-trailer checklist. It has a 4G LTE connection and it is uh, Amazon Alexa enabled. This thing is absolutely insane. As you can see, there is a card system being displayed right now. Underneath that, you have the physical buttons for the touchscreen as well as your volume knob. Right here, we have a bank of buttons, I believe. Starting from left to right, we have your lane keep assist button, parking sensor button, automatic start stop off, it is on by default, tailgate release button, hazard light button, traction control button. Because this has the Z71 package, you have your hill descent control there. Right here, we have your rear locking differential and then your front locking differential. This one will actually lock both. This guy does have a push button start, integrated trailer brake control, dual zone climate control with heated and ventilated captain's chairs. I love that General Motors gives you the option to turn just the heated seat back on itself. I like that. The passenger has a USB and USB type C outlet. We've got a nice storage tray here, here, and here. Cup holders, very minimalist style shifter, and then a wireless charging mat. Coming back to this nice center armrest, lift up on it, giving us access to a really big storage compartment with a USB, USB type C as well as a 120 volt outlet right there. If you are using this as a work truck, you have your file folder tabs right here. There's your AEV stitched into this kind of heavy duty, almost like vinyl interior. It almost feels like a leather, but it's definitely uh, more heavy duty than leather. This guy has two glove boxes. The first one's accessed by pushing this button here. Second one is right here. Up top to the vanity, it's going to be LED lit for your passenger as well as your driver. Up top, we have a three-door universal garage remote. All of your master controls for your single pane sunroof, which I'm a huge fan of. I'll tell you why in a little bit. Right here, we have the power button for the power sliding rear window. And your SOS OnStar buttons, and then that brings us to the video camera rear view mirror. Flick it forward, the camera will go on. You can control the brightness, how high or how low the camera views, and how zoomed in or zoomed out the camera is. When you're done, flick it back and it becomes a mirror again. Overall, I really, really like the interior of these new Silverados. Uh, I think they did an amazing, amazing job. I like that the touchscreen and all the buttons are kind of angled towards the driver. It feels like a little bit more of a cockpit style seating and you have more of a command over things. And I'm not struggling to reach the top right corner of the touchscreen display when I'm sitting in the driver's seat, which is always appreciated. Let's take a look at the back and see how much legroom we have. So getting in is real easy with the grab handle on the B pillar. Before I get in, I do want to point out, you have some under seat storage. You have some in seat storage as well. Not super deep, but it does go over pretty far. It's about halfway over into the next seat right here. Storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. I know when I'm sitting where I would be if I was driving, I have about two and a half feet uh, between the front of the seat and the back of this seat. You got nice cup holders here. Heated captain's chairs, USB, USB type C. This armrest folds down to be a, a cup holder as well. Your hanger hooks are on both passenger and driver side and then your LED dome applets are in the middle. Now the reason I like the single pane sunroof is because if you look, they push the headliner up about three inches to maximize headroom for the rear occupants, which is always appreciated. If we had a dual pane sunroof, we would not have that luxury. So good job on General Motors for keeping the single pane sunroof. Let's take a quick look now at the bed. 
So like I said, this guy has the multi-pro tailgate. There is a couple ways to open the tailgate. The first way is with the key fob, which I don't have. Second way is with the button underneath the touchscreen display. And the third way is the more traditional way. You're gonna come up to it, and push this lower button, and then the, it will fall down for you. But because it's the multi-pro tailgate, there are a couple ways to open it once you're back here. First way is to open up the small portion. Push that top button. This thing will come down, and then you can actually pull on this. So you turn effectively your six and three quarter bed into almost an eight foot bed, which is nice. There are tie down points here and there as well if you need to. Then you can put it down as a regular tailgate on the bottom one. The whole thing will come down for you. Then you can access the bed or you can put them down together so you can use it as a bed step and then push this and then use the grab handle right here to get in and out of the bed. Now, once you're back here, looks like we have three tie down points, one in each of the four corners for a class leading 12. This guy does have the LED bed lighting system as well on the passenger side. It has a 120 volt, 400 watt power outlet. Also, if you look closely too, you can see that they pushed out the bed sides as far as they could for a class leading amount of bed space. Now when you're done, simply reverse the process and in one motion, I can put the entire thing up and away. Let's take a look at the towing and payload sticker if it's got one. So here's the towing and payload sticker for this vehicle. I am kind of surprised that some of these vehicles have them. Uh, keep in mind if you see one of these on your local dealer lot and it's slightly different, it could be because how it's packaged or optioned. Well, there you have it, 2024 Chevy Silverado 1500 ZR2 Bison Edition. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you want to keep up to date with more auto show content and vehicle walkthroughs, definitely subscribe to the channel. Be sure to head over to Twitter or X and give me a follow as I will be posting all of this content there on that platform exclusively first. Please also check out all the affiliate links in the description below as it does greatly help out the channel. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.